Hi, it's Lee from the Japanese Water Gardens. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the common mistakes that people make when they build their first pond. Building a garden pond is hard work and can cost a substantial sum of money. So before you get started, watch this video and hopefully you can avoid some of the common mistakes. There is usually a space at the bottom of every garden thick with weeds. You store your rusty wheelbarrow there and nothing much is going on. So this would undoubtedly make a great place to build your pond. Well, actually, no. It's probably the last place that you should choose. Your pond will need a supply of water, electricity and drainage for maintenance. These are almost certainly easier to provide closer to the property. An area that provides some shade and protection from the elements is great, but don't build it under overhanging trees that will drop leaves come autumn and block your view of the pond. Being able to enjoy your pond year round from the comfort of your own home is a good thing. What type of pond do you want? Do some research and understand the differences between koi ponds and ornamental garden ponds before you decide. A traditional garden pond is not the same as a koi pond. It is important to make a distinction between ornamental garden ponds and ponds for koi. Garden ponds are built shallow with shells for planting. They can be stocked with goldfish and perhaps a few small koi, but if your main interest is koi, then the pond design should be fundamentally different. The pond will need to be deeper and have a large efficient filtration system, preferably running from a bottom drain. Filter too small or not suitable for the pond. This is one mistake that I can truly understand people making. Filtration systems for ponds are many and varied. There is an almost endless selection of systems available. Each manufacturer will tell you how great their systems are and how many thousands of gallons they can filter. But the size of your pond has little to do with the filter that you should choose. It is more down to stocking density and personal expectations. Take any claims about how much water these products can filter with a pound of salt. It's easy to see why many people are confused and make poor choices. My advice is simple. Buy the biggest filter you can afford and fit in the available space. Filters are never too big, only too small. For some strange inexplicable reason, Ponds shrink in size when filled with water, at least they appear to. What you first thought was going to be your huge dream pond rapidly fills up with fish and you are left with no room to introduce any new colourful koi. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that everyone needs to build a pond to cruise around on in the QE2, but it is amazing how many people end up making their ponds bigger after a few years. More work more effort, more expense. Planning. This is possibly the most important thing that you need to do before you start a pond. But most people never spend the time or make even the most simple of plans before they grab a spade and dash out into the garden and start digging. They have no idea how they're going to build the pond, waterproof it or filter it but they are in a rush to get the project underway and before long they realise that they have made some serious errors that are hard to reverse and have severely limited the project's potential. A simple plan should include a quick sketch or drawing of the pond and filter layout. If you can do something to scale, then great. It should also include a comprehensive list of materials so that you can price up what the pond is actually going to cost and avoid a big shock when you get into the shop and realize that the liner you need 
is going to cost hundreds more than what you anticipated. Most important of all is to think everything through properly. You can easily tear up your plan and start again. Fail to plan, plan to fail. What mistakes did you make whilst building your pond? Please leave some comments below. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe, click the bell thing and give the video a thumbs up. It's bye for now from Lee at the Japanese Water Gardens.